China has a reputation for copying products, from smartphones to cars, and let's be honest, they've gotten quite good at it. But copying SpaceX's rockets? That's proven to be a much tougher challenge. While copying SpaceX's designs makes it easier by removing the need to invent every detail from scratch, it also brings big challenges. These companies often end up with only basic rocket concepts, lacking the key technologies to make them truly work. Recently, this gap in knowledge showed when a Chinese company launched a rocket that looked remarkably similar to SpaceX's design. Unfortunately for them, the launch ended in an explosion, exposing the difficulties of copying complex tech without a deep understanding of it. In today's video, we'll dive into what went wrong, why copying SpaceX isn't as easy as it seems, and what this means for China's space ambitions. But before we delve any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the most important developments in the space industry. When people think of China's space industry, it's often assumed there are only a few rocket companies. In reality, there are dozens of private companies in China working to challenge SpaceX's dominance, with many heavily imitating SpaceX's designs. However, when copying is done without fully understanding the technical depth, this approach can lead to significant setbacks. One company following in SpaceX's footsteps is Landspace, which developed the JUK-2 rocket. This rocket employs methane liquid oxygen engines, a combination popularized by SpaceX's Starship. The JUK-2 also aims to integrate vertical takeoff and landing capabilities for future reusability, just as SpaceX does with Falcon 9 and Starship. Landspace's ambition is to create a cost-effective, reusable vehicle to compete on the global commercial launch market, though it's yet to prove the rocket's reliability for multiple flights. Another competitor, Space Pioneer, has also drawn inspiration from SpaceX, especially with their Tianlong-3 rocket, which is similar in concept to the Falcon 9. Tianlong-3 is a two-stage kerosene liquid oxygen rocket designed with a reusable first stage capable of up to 10 flights. By using the same staged combustion method, Space Pioneer hopes to match the reliability and market reach that SpaceX achieved. With their first expendable version scheduled for May 2024, they're aiming for reusability in subsequent launches, a feature that would make them a unique player in the Chinese launch industry. Space Epoch, one of China's newest entrants in this field, is another clear example. This company is working on a stainless steel, methane liquid oxygen rocket similar to SpaceX's Starship. Their rocket will be smaller, but shares core design concepts with Starship, such as using stainless steel, which provides durability and cost advantages. However, Space Epic is still in the early stages, focusing on initial components like propellant tanks and hasn't yet demonstrated this rocket's potential for commercial operations. These companies' approach of imitating SpaceX provides a shortcut, but also poses risks. Blindly following a successful model can create issues when nuanced technical knowledge isn't fully understood. An example is Deep Blue Aerospace, whose recent test with the Nebula 1 rocket ended in an explosive landing. Just a quick look at the Chinese Nebula 1 rocket reveals undeniable similarities to SpaceX's Falcon 9. The design, technical goals, and even the proposed reusability features echo SpaceX's path, illustrating how closely Chinese companies are tracking U.S. developments. The Nebula One's core concept, a reusable rocket stage designed to land vertically and reduce launch costs, strongly resembles SpaceX's Falcon 9, which introduced the idea of reusing rockets to lower costs significantly. Nebula One measures 11 feet in diameter, just a foot smaller than Falcon 9's 12 feet, and is capable of carrying around 4,000 pounds to low Earth orbit. Planned upgrades to the Nebula One could increase its payload capacity to 17,700 pounds, yet this is still far below Falcon 9's impressive 55,000-pound payload for LEO. Furthermore, Falcon Heavy, the next step up from Falcon 9, can lift a whopping 141,000 pounds, making it clear that Nebula 1 has some distance to cover before it reaches SpaceX's capabilities. 
cost per launch for Nebula 1 and other similar Chinese rockets hasn't yet reached the low levels SpaceX offers with Falcon 9, currently about $3,000 per kilogram of payload. SpaceX's cost advantages come from high launch frequency and consistent reuse of the same rocket stages, which lowers average costs per mission. Chinese companies are striving to reach similar cost efficiency, but are still in the testing phases. Despite strict regulatory challenges in the United States, SpaceX has managed to maintain a clear lead over Chinese space companies for years. They significantly increased the launch numbers over the last few years. In 2020, SpaceX company completed 26 orbital launches, followed by 31 in 2021. By 2022, SpaceX made a major leap with 61 launches, and in 2023, it set a new record with 98 launches. As of 2024, the company is on track for over 100 launches, highlighting its leading position in the industry. In comparison, China's space industry has been growing as well, although it hasn't reached SpaceX's rapid cadence. In 2020, China completed 39 launches. This grew to 55 in 2021, 64 in 2022, and 67 launches in 2023. 2023. China's government-backed programs, along with several private companies, are steadily pushing for more frequent launches, with a focus on competing with SpaceX's technological achievements and cost efficiencies. China has made clear its ambition to surpass SpaceX and the United States in space exploration, backing this goal with substantial government investment and policy support. In 2013, China's space budget was approximately $6.1 billion. By 2022, this figure had risen to about $11.94 billion. And in 2023, it reached over $14 billion. While China is backing its space ambitions with large budgets and minimal regulatory delays, the situation in the U.S. is the opposite for companies like SpaceX. The FAA has imposed complex licensing and environmental requirements on SpaceX, leading to long delays before every Starship test launch. This regulatory burden has led to months of waiting for each of the Starship launches so far, slowing SpaceX's progress significantly. For Starship's first orbital launch in April 2023, SpaceX faced several months of delays due to the FAA's environmental review process. After the launch, which ended explosively, the FAA grounded Starship to address environmental impacts and required SpaceX to make modifications like adding a flame deflector. This process led to even longer gaps between launches. Each time SpaceX prepared for a new launch, it had to go through extensive FAA reviews and consultations with environmental agencies. These extra steps added months to the timeline each time. By the time SpaceX was preparing for the fifth flight in 2024, they were again delayed by months as the FAA pushed the expected licensing date from September to late November. SpaceX pointed out that every new environmental consultation could add 60 days to the wait, potentially stretching even longer if additional questions are raised. According to SpaceX, this back-and-forth regulation is holding them back from faster testing and development, which is a key reason they're not further along with Starship. It's not just Starship. Falcon 9 also faced significant challenges from the FAA, which grounded the rocket twice within two months. The first grounding occurred in July following a Starlink mission, where the rocket's upper stage experienced a malfunction leading to the loss of 23 satellites. Despite the successful landing of the booster, the FAA imposed a 15-day grounding to investigate the issue and prevent further incidents. The second grounding happened in late August after a Falcon 9 booster failed to land properly on its drone ship and exploded. This landing mishap halted SpaceX's operations again, as the FAA required a comprehensive investigation before allowing further launches. This delay impacted the Polaris Dawn mission and other planned flights, creating a backlog for SpaceX, which had to wait until it could resume its ambitious launch schedule. Don't forget to check the link in the description to grab your own highly realistic Starship model. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.